Hey guys, and welcome back to Drop the Mic. Y'all know what to do as y'all slide in that door. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And remember that everything that I say over here is alleged. It's in my opinion, and it's for entertainment purposes only. Y'all, let's hop right into it. Okay, guys, and welcome back to Drop the Mic. So, listen, we're going to get right into it. I'm going to let you know what I think about this video today. Um, and yeah, that's what it is. So, quickly, what's going on is um, I was browsing around, you know, on TikTok. I don't be on TikTok a whole lot, but I was on there. Okay, <laughs> and while I was browsing around, I came across the body glaze that Stormy sells for her Canvas Beauty product line. Y'all listen, I saw a lot of reviews that were very good and encouraging. People that say they absolutely positively love the stuff. And, you know, they would buy it again and again and again. So, listen, I was happy, excited for Stormy, thinking, okay, maybe she has turned the corner. Maybe this is, you know, this is finally, you know, sinking in with her, with her business practices, what she should be doing, how she should be doing it, and all of that jazz. Well, one thing I do know about reviews is that sometimes people can be paid to do them right so of all the reviews that I looked at I also looked to see if they were being sponsored or they you know some type of promotion was on there because I tend to not really like those reviews because I feel like those people are being paid to do it and they're gonna say what the person sponsoring the review wants them to say so it's not a genuine review to me so I continued to dig all right and in continuing to dig I ran across some reviews that I feel were more honest reviews so y'all I want y'all to take a look at these reviews and then I'm going to come back and give you the rest of my commentary. I ordered the infamous body glaze. I don't know what side of TikTok y'all are on, but this glaze has been everywhere on my For You page and I finally bought it. This thing is $25. So I'm smelling something right now and I really hope that the body glaze is not what I'm smelling because it kind of smells like a mixture between wet cardboard and buttered popcorn and like a hint of caramel. Anyways, let me just open it. Let's see what all the hype's about. The donut one, this is the original one. Hold on. I'm very picky with my scents, so if I don't like this, that doesn't mean you won't like it because I just don't be liking shit. Okay guys, this smells like, I smell the butter, buttered popcorn, like movie theater popcorn. I'm just thinking of a vanilla cupcake, paraffin wax smell too, like a candle. Let's just use some of it. Okay, so, oh wait, the smell is getting like, this is what it looks like on my skin. I'm really disappointed. This is not what I was expecting. It doesn't smell bad, but it's just not my thing. I guess I kind of knew that already, but I was just hoping that it would beat my expectations because it was so popular. Definitely overhyped. Sorry. I like scents like coffee, cocoa mocha, things like that. I like those, but I'm, I'm kind of disappointed. Okay, I'm no longer home. I'm at my mom's house, but update on the smell. I got in the car. I was like, mom, smell. Like, I got this new glaze. Tell me why my mom told me I smell like pyro. 
the insecticide. Guys, guess what I got today? Guess what I got today? Y'all know what it is, but a pink packaging. Y'all know what it is. And yes, I'm a bandwagon. Yes, I hopped on the train. Why? Because I had to see if the hype was real. And I just got out of the shower. Unscented soap, everything. So we finna get a raw reveal. Edit. Uncut. Review of this. Because, no. And I'm gonna tell y'all if y'all lying. I'm not playing. Because I don't, I don't like that. I spent my good $25 on this. Because I wanted to see if the reveal... I can't smell nothing straight out the package. I don't smell nothing, so I got I got marshmallow toast. I got marshmallow toast, so we finna see how this goes. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let's see. It's the new um flavor one, marshmallow toast. And we finna see how it smells. Okay, she said that you gotta dig into it. I don't like digging into my stuff, so. But, okay, I guess I'll do it for the review. It doesn't smell. It doesn't smell like anything. That's kind of disappointing. Y'all. Okay, this is my first time actually buying this, the Canvas Beauty Body um, Glaze. I don't know if every scent is like this, but this just smells like beeswax. This doesn't smell fragrance at all. This doesn't, the, the the formula to make your skin not dry, 10 out of 10, but I don't smell anything. So I'm gonna have to give this like a two out of 10. The fragrance, a two out of 10. And then the formula is like a nine out of 10. Now TikTok, I'm gonna need y'all to stop overhyping these products, seriously. <laughs> Cause I went ahead and followed the hype and purchased one of these body glazes by Canvas Beauty. Um, I got Siyama and literally just pour it out of the bag right now. Just got some mail. And I'm gonna let y'all know that the scent, they said that you could smell it through, like as soon as you open the bag, you're able to smell it. Incorrect, you cannot smell it. Even when you can barely even smell it, you gotta really put your nose in there to be able to even smell the scent. And to be honest, the scent kind of smells like one of the shampoos that I own. Nothing crazy, nothing hype. Um, and honestly, I don't know about the ingredients. Maybe the ingredients are super good. I heard that they were really good and beneficial for your skin. I still need to try it out for a few days and just see, test it out. I mean, it goes on pretty smooth, but in terms of the scent, like, you can barely smell it. I don't know if it's a bad batch. You guys didn't add enough fragrance. I wanted to come, come on here today and do a review for the Canvas Beauty Body Glaze and the Pineapple Fragrance. And let me tell y'all, I was so disappointed when I opened this up. I wanted to open this and have this wow me, and it did not do that. Now, as you can see, it's definitely glazing. It's thick. It's giving you that full coverage, smooth on the skin. But the fragrance wasn't there. It just was not potent. And I feel like for $25, they should have done much better than this. So y'all really hyped this up, and it's not giving what it's supposed to give. So will I purchase this product again? Definitely no. It's a no. Final review on Canvas Beauty. Here are the original two that I purchased. The Upside Down and the Tiyama. This is what came in the mail today. Ordered on the 29th of last month. Got today. The 29th of the 4th is about the time frame. But I did want to point out something. Success has not been a great thing because these are not the same formulations. Take a look at this pineapple upside down. You can see that it's juicy, that it has fragrance, you can still smell it. Here's the one that I got today. Storm.
Tommy, what's going on? These are not the same products. It was such a difference that I had to check and make sure that I hadn't got the dupes. This is not the same formulations. So the more successful Tommy is getting, she's cutting corners. Look at that. You can clearly see that has fragrance that does not. So let me even, if I try to go into it, you can't even smell this one. You can tell that's not the same formula. This may as well be the one that's not scented. What happened here? And they both are pineapple upside down. You can tell that. This was the original one. That was the one that came in. So this will be my last purchase of these because they're not the same formula. We're not even getting the same product. She's cutting the product on fragrance to sell more product. It's not the same product. Look at that. Both of these are pineapple upside down glaze. They're not the same product. So Stormy, if you want to send me a batch of what I paid for, that'd be awesome. That'd be great. But I won't be purchasing any more. And as far as the Siama goes, you can even tell that that one even has, you can tell that has fragrance in it. It's not plain looking. That one was just okay. I wouldn't get that again. And the strawberry, it has, a, it has a fragrance to it. You can tell, this is the one that came in day for the pineapple. Look at that. You can even tell that even the strawberry has fragrance added to that one. That one does not, that's a plain scent. But it's packaged as pineapple. The strawberry has a faint strawberry candle smell. Not very strong at all. And then the donut one smells like burnt cookies. So in terms of use, the products work, but this is my last batch. This is enough to let me know here that making a profit is more important than keeping the products consistent. There's no way. These are both the same product. That's the first one I bought. This is one that just came today. Look at the difference. This one smells like pineapple. This one smells like nothing. So that's it and that's all. Um, Story makes decent products, but this is a big disappointment. I'll use all these, but I will not be purchasing any more. Um, she's cutting her product uh, on fragrance to sell more product, it appears. Now, this was a bad batch. This was a mistake. Stormy, send me what I purchased. This is not it. All right. Supporting black business, but this is about as much as I'm going to do. I won't buy any more of this. I just won't. Hope this review helps. So I said, the consistency is even different. You can tell that one's juicy. That's just wax. Look at this one. This one's even creamy. This is, don't, this is the glaze. Look at how juicy and creamy that one is. This one's just wax. There's nothing there. Let's go to the pineapple. The pineapple's even juicy. I have no idea what that is, but it's not any of these formulas. For a certain, for a certain. Trying the viral body glaze by Canvas Beauty Brand. Okay, here we go. Canvas Beauty Brand. And everybody's talking about getting fit like pancakes and all kind of things. You know, I show me. Can I smell a little bit of something outside of the package? Everybody was going crazy over the cream puff, but that was sold out by the time I went to the website. Kind of smell like some baked product. <clears throat> Pineapple upside down body glaze. Honest. Um, first response. All right, what call it? First impression. Stop there with me. I didn't want to say nothing when it came to this product. I didn't want to say anything because y'all done already called me a hater. And now that I got my order, which was marshmallow toast, 
I'm truly underwhelmed when it comes to the fragrance. The birthday icing was way more potent than this. This doesn't really smell like anything. It kind of just smells more like a candle or wax than the birthday icing. Now, when it comes to the formulation, this one is a little bit different than the birthday icing. This one actually feels more like wax. It's a little bit thicker. I don't know, maybe because it's been uh, cooler, but the formulation itself is still amazing, but the fragrance, it's just not doing it for me. This week has been making me weak, for real. I don't know if I'm going to come and I came and went. It's just now hump day, but Monday and Tuesday, it is it, the big one for me. Look at me, I'm up here taping boxes. Y'all know, I told y'all I don't be taping these boxes up, but I'm doing it today because, like I said, we got to get these orders out, okay? Still, y'all, it's still going. It's still 4,000 plus orders. Still every day. Everybody in here just working, working, working. I mean, everybody. And I get it, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what we gotta do. Because for some reason, this body glaze, it ain't playing no games, honey, okay? You know what I'm saying? As it should, because it's soft, it's smooth, you be smelling like a snack, and I ain't greasy, it's just different. It hit different. So guess what I'ma do? I'ma get these orders right the fuck on out, right at people's door expeditiously, okay? In three business days, it's leaving my warehouse. And I'm gonna do what I gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Even stay later. Like I did last night. I was like looking around. I said, uh-uh, we gotta rearrange this so we can pack faster and everything can run more. Okay, guys. So y'all saw that. Y'all saw the reviews that I found that I felt were true reviews. Okay. Again, the ones that I found where they were really hyping it up like you can smell it through the package and oh my god y'all gotta get y'all this and all of that i could not find one of them that didn't have that promotion thing attached to them right so that's why i didn't use any of those so i tried to find to me in my opinion the most honest reviews right and in my opinion, the most honest reviews really, really, really were very consistent with giving Stormy like a 9 or a 10 out of 10, 8 out of 10 on the consistency on how it moisturizes your skin. They were very consistent with that. No matter how it smells, they liked the way it made their skin shine and they liked the way it made their skin feel okay but they were very disappointed in the smell okay and so that's why i consider those reviews to be more honest because they weren't just like oh it's negative or it's all the way positive they were like look i love the consistency not crazy about the smell or vice versa or whatever right but it seemed to be the cons the consensus was that the consistency was good, but they weren't too, you know, thrilled with the smell of the product. A couple of people said that, you know, they felt that the two consistencies were not the same, even though they got the same product. One lady got the pineapple upside down cake and one smell great and she said the consistency was great then the other one she got she said felt more like a beeswaxy consistency and she wasn't feeling that one wasn't too fond of that one right so i feel like these were the like most honest reviews that i could find so what i'm gonna say is this that it appears that stormy is still kind of doing the same thing that she was doing before except for I actually think that before things were a little different right and here's why I'm gonna say that with her hair care products I don't think I ever heard anyone complain about the actual products and what they could do 
except for the fact maybe if they had an allergy because of the cayenne pepper and you know her hair oil stuff like that but that's different i'm talking about like the actual use of the products they were like raving about it okay saying that these products were great um there was a couple of people that complained that they may have gotten something moldy or what have you but i'm gonna consider that an anomaly because i only heard that a couple of times for the most part i'm gonna say that they said that stormy's ish was good and they loved the way the products felt in their hair the way it made their hair grow all of these things right so my question is this if you already got a winning product right and the only issue that you had was shipping okay getting the products into people's hands why would you switch to a whole nother product in the body glaze in the skincare it's just a whole different genre and you gotta still kind of work on making that like a great product making sure that 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 thing is consistent all the way through and through when it's all said and done you had a great product in your hair care line you just couldn't get that shit to people on time so why not implement a team right that can ensure that your shipping policy is better that you adhere to your own policies and procedures and that you get the stuff out to people on time why why not do that like that's what i'm just trying to figure out so i feel like i feel like that's where stormy is getting it confused in my opinion she is getting it confused Whereas you don't need to really switch to a whole nother product. The only thing you need to do is ensure that the product gets to the customer on time. And if it doesn't get to them, that you have things in place, plans in place to ensure that the product gets to them in a timely fashion or they get their money back, right? so that's the thing that i'm not really understanding about her switch to the body glaze so that's why i question like stormy's business acumen because i feel like if it ain't broke don't fix that part of it right only fix the part of your business that's broken so I don't know because I can't be for sure because it appeared to me like she was really kind of like I'm done with the hair care thing because I done jacked that one up so bad that I'm not going to really deal with that one anymore. Right. Um, Being the Canvas Beauty brand, the hair care products, you know, like she got the f rating on a better business bureau whatever and so it's almost like well you're gonna neglect that even though that is a proven product the only thing that wasn't proven was your shipping and getting the products to people on time um and then also dealing with complaints if the people did not get their products once your customers got their products they were happy campers because they liked the product but so i guess y'all i'm really confused as to why i feel like she is abandoning the hair stuff to really push this body glaze which is nothing wrong with expanding yourself it really really isn't but I don't feel like you she should be abandoning one for the other. Like, if you're going to expand, you should expand after you have mastered your first line of products. What puts you on the map, which is your hair care stuff, right? Again, 
I don't know how many times I got to say this, but I feel like I got, I just got to keep saying it. The product is already proven to be a good product. So if the only thing that's wrong with the products is the business owners cannot get the products in their consumer's hand in a timely fashion, then you fix that part of the business. That's the part that you focus all your energy on. Like, I'm going to get this shit out to people on time, period, point blank. Whatever I got to do to do it is what I'm going to do. Because you already got a proven product. So it just, I guess it don't make sense to me. So I don't know if she's abandoning the Canvas Beauty stuff. Like when I have went to Target and, and um, wherever else, I think it's CVS, where she um, has her brands, I don't see all of the stuff that she used to sell on her website. Like, I, like I've seen a couple of things, but usually that stuff be like in clearance or whatever. So I'm not sure if she still has those, you know, distribution deals or whatever with these national stores. Um, and if she does, I don't think that they house her whole line of products. It may be like her most popular ones. So again, if the only issue was getting people their products on time, then I feel like as a good business woman and as a boss, you fix that and you put whatever you got to put in place to ensure that that's fixed. And now you back up to a you know five ten million dollar business instead i feel like she is giving up on her proven product because of the double f rating on the better business bureau feeling like defeated like she can't come back from that but she very much can come back from that by just implementing good policies and stuff so the body gloss let's get back to that oh body glaze I think that it's a good product but I think that it has the formula is not all the way together as far as the consistency and the scent so because of that you're going to run into the same problem only on a different on a different area with your products. So now you getting the stuff out to them on time within three days, three to seven days or however long, which is a really good turnaround. But because you're rushing or you haven't perfected the formula with the scent and the consistency, now people are getting an inconsistent product. So they're getting the glaze on time, but it either doesn't smell good or it feels like beeswax or whatever the people were saying um, as far as the consistency. So I'm going to go back to my original thought in that Stormy needs, she has good ideas, great ideas, but she needs a mentor and she needs a really good like um, business project manager that will sit her down and tell her these hard truths. That's my opinion, y'all. I know, listen, I, I have a little bit of, ex of experience in running a business, a couple of different businesses. So, no, I ain't perfect either. No one is when it comes to business. And you're going to fail more times than you're going to win. But when you win, you're going to win big. Because that's just how this thing works, right? But you have to fix one thing and get that right before you hop into another thing. And I feel like, once again, that's what we're getting from Stormy. She's trying to make a quick buck. So you haven't perfected your formula with this glaze. 
you getting it out to the people on time but it either is gonna stink or it ain't got no smell to it or the consistency's not there from the one that they ordered from you you know a month prior those are to me worse mistakes than even the shipping stuff because once it's out there that your product is not good then people are not gonna try it again but the difference with the other stuff the hair stuff that's proven is people will risk trying it again if they really liked their results and you can guarantee that you're going to get it in their hands after they spend their money with you so stormy got a lot of thinking to do and she needs to stop trying to make a quick buck and look at it from a long-term perspective look y'all that's just my opinion what do y'all think (laughs) because i know i've said a lot but i really do think that about her and i think that stormy thinks that all the content creators hate her goods now i'm gonna be honest she's not my favorite because i think that she's flip floppity she's a flip floppity flip floppity ass biatch (laughs) in the words of beyonce (laughs) Um, and I don't think, and I think she's sort of kind of fake, right? I don't think she's that genuine. Um, again, that's what's coming across on the screen and from how she have behaved in her past relationships and friendships. She, I feel like she easily turn on you if she think it's going to benefit her or whatever. So I, I can't help that. That's what I see with her. But at the end of the day, I still want her to win. I still want a black business to win. I just feel that what you put out, and I've said this before, when it comes to Dusty Destiny, what you put out in this world is what you're going to get back. I don't care how many different formulas you try and how many different ways you try to do it. So it's just best to just do right and live right, treat people right, don't try to scam people, and you will be so blessed. So you know that's that's it that's all um i think she could get that rating up from a f to probably a c with hard work and then with continued hard work all the way back up to an a at the better business bureau because again the products work but you gotta get them in people's hands so y'all hop down in my comments Y'all tell me what y'all think about these reviews, about the gloss. If you have used the gloss, please let me know what you guys think about the gloss, uh, the glaze. I don't know why I keep calling it gloss. I guess because it's glossy looking. (laughs) But tell me what y'all think about it. Is it something that you would buy again? Do you like the smell? Because again, I saw where some people said they loved it on TikTok, but I also saw that they were paid promoters and I wanted to get reviews from people that were not paid that were honest reviews so if you guys have gotten it and you're an honest reviewer please drop that information down in my comment section because i will do